Okay, now today I'm going way back, honey child. I mean, this is old school, y'all, because today I'm going to dig deeper into Pastor Keon's relationship with his second wife, the first first lady of Lighthouse Church before Shani stole her husband, allegedly. <laughs> By analyzing this video recorded about six months before Pastor Keon filed for divorce from her, which video is taken from Lady Felicia Henderson's birthday Sunday church service. We are celebrating uh, Lady Felicia's birthday today and Tuesday. Obviously we would have done it next Sunday, but with four services and Easter, I thought we just, and I know she understands this, we're gonna let the Lord's day be his day. And, um, and we just kind of moved it up. And thank you all so much for your kind words and your love and your support. In addition, I want to take a look at some other research materials that I have gathered for this episode from about four months before Pastor Keon filed for divorce so he could dump Lady Felicia for Shawnee, allegedly, <laughs> so I can get a better idea of how so-called pastors are able to look people straight in the eye and lie to everybody including his friends, his wife's friends, and even his wife, when he knows he's plotting in the background to divorce her ass. <laughs> so you, so uh -huh. you actually know. called yeah. him first? Yeah, because I had all his information. Because she didn't give me a number. Secret. So what we're saying is that it's okay for the woman to actually call the man. We don't have to make the Well, first no, move. I'm not actually saying that. I didn't give him my information. Right. Remember, he gave me all his information. Oh, okay, on the okay. so you didn't give the information. Yeah, because you know these days, you don't know if they're like serial killers, right. rapists, <laughs> But the dude she was dating at the time was a serial killer. So I don't know what <laughs> is the difference between... <laughs> but that ex-wife is too. She just Ooh! didn't live in Texas. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, Lady Felicia. Get his ass. <laughs> and I just can't see how he would let her record all of that knowing he was about to divorce her. Allegedly. <laughs> oh, but anyway, y'all, let me stay focused. And so, if you want to know if I think Lady Felicia is glad that Sister Lady Shawnee has delivered her from all of Pastor Keon's madness, taking on her new stolen role <laughs> as First Lady of Lighthouse Church, then you better stick around. And in the blessed name of Jesus, where in the hell is Lady Felicia? And where has she been over the past few years since Lady Shawnee stole her husband? <laughs> and her title as First Lady of Lighthouse Church, allegedly. Well, if you want to find out, you better stick around. Hi there, I'm Professor Blackmore and welcome back to my channel and to my series entitled, Shawnee, girl, I hope you have a prenup. And it's time to get this throwback 2019 Lady Felicia birthday party started. I love you so much and have a wonderful birthday and don't let nobody ruin your birthday because you're the baddest person I know. <laughs> love you, mommy. I just want to say that I'm so proud of the woman you were kind of coming and cheers to another year of life. Every time when you're sick, um, I, I, I pray to God for you to feel better and then he, he did it and goodbye. Hey guys, it's Jay Bowen. Lady Henderson, guess who's going shopping with me? You are. Your husband has planned the most special day for you and I to go shopping. Um, I'm going to take you on an all-day shopping trip that's paid for by your husband. Yes, he's already paid for it. Everything is covered, girl. We're going shopping, and we're going to have a good time. So, happy birthday, and I'll see you soon. Make sure you wear some tennis shoes because we have a lot of shopping. <laughs> Now, I wonder why you can't take your own wife on a shopping spree for her birthday. I mean, why do you need another man to take your wife out for her birthday, Pastor Keon? I mean, it seems pretty sad that you make it so clear that you don't want to be bothered with your own wife. But 
I guess that ain't none of my business, y'all. <laughs> now, the young ladies who kicked off this throwback birthday party for the First Lady of Lighthouse Church are Lady Felicia's older daughters that she had prior to the marriage to Pastor Keon, in addition to her baby girl that she had during her marriage to Pastor Keon. And in part four of this podcast series, I previewed a restraining order lawsuit that Pastor Keon filed against yet another woman who was out here on this church house internet claiming that she was actually the first lady of lighthouse church <laughs> i mean in this social media post she states quote my pastor is not married to felicia henderson <laughs> she is a seat filler my pastor has been afraid to tell the truth for two reasons number one fear and number two, my looks. <laughs> God told my pastor two years ago I was his third wife, unquote. <laughs> and now these are just some of the exhibits attached to the restraining order lawsuit. They attached their marriage license and numerous images and social media posts. And as you can see, at some point, this lady updated her Facebook profile picture and changed her cover photo, calling herself the real Mrs. Henderson. <laughs> now, isn't this interesting? I mean, I just wonder what this was all about, don't you? I mean, what would give her the idea that she was the first lady? Is she just some crazy lady or was there something else to it? Oh. But anyway, y'all, let me move on, because as you can see here in the court's final judgment, the restraining order remains in effect until December the 31st, 2026. And in addition to Pastor Keon, Lady Felicia and her three daughters are listed here as being included in the protected permanent injunction. And so it is Caitlin which is Pastor Keon's biological daughter and Lady Felicia's two older daughters, Candace and Tynesha. And so these are the three girls that were in Lady Felicia's 2019 Lighthouse Church birthday tribute video previewed earlier. And now all of this is taking place in April of 2019. And so I wanted to see how much romance was really in this marriage at that time period, which was about six months, before Pastor Keon filed this divorce petition. Because we all know you don't make up your mind to file for divorce on the day that you file. Because we all know with the impact that this earth shattering decision would have on him and the church, you know he knew what was coming several months prior. So let's take a look so we can see if there are any clues. Well, Lady Felicia, we wanna honor you and celebrate you this is a gift uh, from the Lighthouse Church. They all got together. They all got together and got this for you. So we want to give you this. And your shopping spree is paid for. <laughs> yeah, and we know it's paid for by the doggone church. <laughs> and in the blessed name of Jesus, I mean, he handed her the card like it was a stick of gum or something. No hug, no kiss, no nothing. I mean, the whole presentation did not have one lick of feeling, love, or passion at all, allegedly. And I just want to know what this woman did to deserve to be treated like this. But I guess I better stay focused so we can see who else showed up at this birthday party. Uh, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Who got their phone on? Okay, um, who is it? It's Christina. Oh my God. Hey, Chris, what you, you didn't interrupt. You interrupted our minute. service. What are you doing? I'm so sorry to interrupt church. I know you guys have church going on, but I'm looking for my best friend. I know it's her birthday. And I just want to say, I love you all. And thank you. And I'm sorry, I hate to interrupt church, but it's my girl's birthday. So I had no choice but to come on here and send all of my birthday wishes to you. I love you, Fee. Call me later so we can watch Game of Thrones, okay? 
I love you. Happy birthday. <laughs> now, it would have been something if she can say, call me later so we can watch basketball wives. <laughs> Oh, but anyway, y'all, let, let me stay focused because now that we've been introduced to Miss Christina, who I wish I could find so I could see if she'll come on this damn show. <laughs> but if you go through Lady Felicia's Instagram, you will see this Christina all over it because up until about four months before Pastor Keon filed for divorce, which it seems clear, it's around the time that he must have notified Lady Felicia of said divorce because her social media seems to drastically diminish around this time. But before that time, Lady Felicia was heavily involved in the production of an internet show called Closet Chats that she did along with her friend Christina and this show aired on Facebook. Now, they did a whole season of this show, and they ended the first season by inviting their husbands on the show. And you would have thought that since the thing was going to be air for the world to see, that this man, if he had any respect for this woman, he would have come up with some excuse not to have her out here in front of her friends looking like a damn fool while he's sitting up here lying to everybody's face. But... I guess it ain't for me to say. So let me let you look at this so you can tell me what you think about all of this. So tell me then, how did you guys meet, Keon? Tell me. Well, uh, she definitely didn't have the potential Erlene had. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. and, and we definitely wasn't in school. <laughs> okay. I met her at a restaurant. Okay. And uh, it was only uh, one seat in the whole restaurant. Mm -hmm. So I asked this girl, I said, um, can I sit next to you? Her first words to me ever was, well, as long as don't no girl come out of the bathroom trying to fight me, you can sit down. I said, I said, ooh, I love her. Like, like I like this girl. And I said, as long as, because the seat is open, so right. where to do that? Right. You know, and she's like, ain't no dude here. This girl had on styrofoam flip-flops. She had on workout pants. Sounds about and right. And she had just got her toes done, and she was getting ready to have a business meeting. And uh, so I said to her, I said, well, what's your number? She said, well, you got a card. I said, no, I ain't got no card. I went over to the people and got the receipt paper. Yeah. And she said, leave me your number. I gave her my number. I gave her the church number. I gave her the fax number. I gave her the email. I gave her my mama yes. number. I gave her my social security number. I gave her my bank account number. I was going to give her. <laughs> well, we know you gave her your mama's number because you can't say 10 words without saying something about your damn mama. <laughs> but let me stay focused so we can get some more details. So you were not leaving unless you knew she had every way to get a hold of you. He really gave me like an encyclopedia. I, I had the fax number. I had the email address. I had the address to the church. I had everything to get in contact with him. And what was so funny, I think he was actually at a tournament. Mm -hmm. And when I called him, I said, hey, do you want to do lunch or dinner? And he said, okay, either one is fine. And then when I finally reached out to him, he said that he was at a tournament and he needed no, no, to call no, me no, back. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, hold on. he did. Because I, I thought said, this closet was about truth. It right. is. It's All the right, whole well, truth. Let me, let me give y'all something that really actually happened. You said, do you want to do lunch or dinner? Right. I said either one would do. Right. Well, since I had options, I was busy in the day and right. I chose the second option. But oh. see... You gave me both options, but you only intended to keep one option, which was yes. the one most convenient for you, which Absolutely. is lunch. Yeah. That's what actually happened. Right. And so when I picked dinner, she's like, oh, I ain't on that side of town. I, ain't on that side I of said, town. she crazy I as I thought she was. <laughs> I, knew, I knew this girl was crazy. I think it's real funny how he's the only one who knows how to tell the truth when this whole thing is a made up lie of a person trying to make people think he's happily married when he's plotting and planning to file for divorce from the woman in four months. But again, I guess that ain't none of my business. So you so you uh, actually called him first? Yeah, because I had all his information. Because she didn't give me a number. Secret. So what we're saying is that it's okay for the woman to actually call the man. We don't have to make the Well, first no, move. I'm not actually saying that. I didn't give him my information. Right. Remember, he gave me all his information. Oh, on okay, the so you paper. didn't give the information. Yeah, because you know these days, you don't know if they like serial killers, right. rapists, stalkers. But the dude she was dating at the time was a serial killer, so I don't know what's the difference between... <laughs> but that ex-wife is, too. She just didn't move to Texas. <laughs> Do we need to run a 
doing a I'm background not... check on this. <laughs> yes, indeed, Lady Felicia. I guess he was going to make you eat them words by making you into the ex-wife. <laughs> I just feel like there are some glaring similarities in this church house reality show marriage with Lady Felicia and the almost similar church house reality show marriage with Lady Shawnee. And so, as you can see on their Facebook page and their Instagram page, after this July 2019 season finale aired, there is nothing else on their Facebook page or on their Instagram page. And as you look at Lady Felicia's Instagram page as well, as you can see, the most important thing to her is her children and her grandchildren as she has a one-year-old grandbaby boy. And I love how after Pastor Keon files for divorce in October of 2019, she cuts him out of this picture in this November 27, 2019 post on her Instagram page in which she states, quote, your ultimatum may be the key to somebody's freedom. <laughs> Unquote. Now, during the whole Lady Felicia birthday church service, Pastor Keon played this video about himself. I mean, right in the middle of the service that was supposed to be about Lady Felicia. He played an at least 30 minute long video about himself. And it was an interview of Pastor Keon conducted by Bishop Jakes. And it was just too much information for me to try to deal with in this episode because this man is just a troubled soul. But it was something else on it, y'all. And it told you everything you need to know about why this man is so troubled. And if you're looking for the answers to all of the questions raised by this episode, they will be revealed when I come back in my next episode, when I preview all of the rigmarole that came out of this interview. But until then, I just can't come to any other conclusion, but that Lady Felicia is glad that Sister Lady Shawnee has delivered her from all of this Pastor Keon madness. And I'm sure that if Lady Shawnee thinks any value can come from taking on her new stolen role of the new First Lady of Lighthouse Church, allegedly, I'm sure that Lady Felicia is saying, be my guest, baby girl. <laughs> but what do you think? I mean, is this not the most crazy mixed up mess? And why in the blessed name of Jesus does Pastor Keon think he's going to be satisfied with Lady Shawnee? Can he not see that a woman is not like a freaking used car? Sometimes it might be the driver, not the car, baby boy. <laughs> and it seems that he just keeps trading in one wife for another wife when the problem is all wrapped up in his own crazy mixed up issues. I mean, what is the real difference between these two women? Please let me know by leaving your comments in the comment section below. And I hope you also give me a big thumbs up. And I hope you'll also consider donating to this video and my entire channel ministry by donating to the Professor Blackmore Cash App. And I hope you'll also subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell so you'll be notified whenever I come back with more hot tea on this reality show, Church House, Hot Mess Drama. And please also follow me on TikTok, and Instagram.